following is a list of 11 of the most notoriously haunted locations in Buffalo, New York. Number 1. Buffalo Central Terminal Constructed in 1929, Buffalo Central Terminal in Buffalo, New York remained an active train station until 1979 and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1984. It sits on over 17 acres and was built to accommodate over 3,000 passengers with the 17-story office tower for workers. It is said to be haunted by the spirits of former travelers who once passed through the station, though the reason for their presence is unknown. Many tourists visiting the Buffalo Central Terminal report witnessing apparitions and hearing the sounds of disembodied voices, and in 2010 the location was investigated on the popular paranormal TV series Ghost Hunters. Number 2. Buffalo Naval Park Museum Visitors at the Buffalo Naval Park Museum in Buffalo, New York report encountering apparitions and shadow figures aboard a decommissioned World War II-era destroyer called the USS The Sullivans. The USS The Sullivans first set sail in April of 1943 and was heavily involved in the naval conflicts of the Pacific Theater during World War II. It was named after five brothers, George, Francis, Joseph, Madison, and Albert Sullivan, who enlisted together and who were killed when their ship was struck by a torpedo from a Japanese destroyer. According to legend, the spirits of the five Sullivan brothers often appear aboard the USS The Sullivans, along with other former crew members whose restless spirits still remain. Number 3. Canisius College Canisius College in Buffalo, New York was founded in 1870 by members of a Jesuit order called the Society of Jesus. In Christ the King Chapel, it's said that disembodied voices are heard coming from empty areas, and members of the church report witnessing the apparition of an elderly man in the basement. Many students in Frisch Hall claim that the fifth floor is haunted by the spirit of a former student who committed suicide, and others in Lion Hall report encountering the spirit of a former nun whose apparition is seen wandering the hallways at night. Number 4. Deuville College Deuville College in Buffalo, New York was originally constructed in 1874 as the Holy Angels Academy. Students at the Kostler Administration Building report witnessing apparitions and hearing disembodied footsteps, voices, and the sounds of children playing. The spirit of a young woman is also seen on the third and fourth floor, and employees working in the old building late at night report experiencing a variety of other unexplained paranormal activity, such as lights flickering, disembodied voices, footsteps, and doors opening or closing by themselves. Although many witnesses have come forward with claims of encountering ghostly entities at Deuville College, the reason for their presence is unknown. Number 5. Hotel Henry Urban Resort The Hotel Henry Urban Resort in Buffalo, New York was constructed in the late 1800s as the Buffalo Psychiatric Center which treated patients with mental illness until the early 1970s when it was closed due to claims of abuse and neglect by caretakers. 
It was also the site of a bloody battlefield during the War of 1812 and is said to be haunted by the spirits of former soldiers and mental patients who died violent and unnatural deaths. Guests at the Hotel Henry often report seeing shadow figures and apparitions, including the spirit of a mysterious lady in white who wanders the hallways late at night. Employees working at night also report hearing strange disembodied voices and sounds, as well as feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Workers tasked with remodeling empty areas of the hotel over the years have reported hearing strange disembodied sounds and experiencing other unexplained paranormal activity, such as sudden cold spots and tools or other equipment being moved or misplaced by an unseen entity. Number six, the Iron Island Museum. The Iron Island Museum in Buffalo, New York was built in 1883 as a church and was later used as a funeral home during the 1950s and 1960s. Employees working at the museum often report witnessing apparitions, shadow figures, and experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena such as disembodied voices and cold spots. One commonly seen spirit is that of a man named Edgar Zernick, whose cremated remains sat in the building's basement unclaimed for several years, as well as the spirits of two twin boys who passed away during the 1960s. The Iron Island Museum offers late-night ghost tours and investigations and is said to be haunted by multiple other unidentified apparitions who are believed to be attached to some of the historical objects on display. Number 7. Lindbergh Elementary School Lindbergh Elementary School in Buffalo, New York is said to be haunted by the spirit of a former custodian who was killed in a fire and whose apparition is allegedly seen by staff members and students. Many also report hearing disembodied voices as well as experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena such as sudden drops in temperature, cold spots, and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 8. Medale College Established in 1875 by the Sisters of St. Joseph as the Mount St. Joseph Teachers College, Medale College in Buffalo, New York is said to be haunted by the spirit of a boy who committed suicide for unknown reasons, as well as other unidentified apparitions and shadow figures. One former student named Hannah once reported having a series of dreams about the boy after using a Ouija board at a party. According to Hannah, the boy was hanging from the ceiling and explained that he had committed suicide due to repeated incidents of abuse by a former nun. Other students over the years have also reported witnessing the apparitions of former students sitting in empty classrooms as well as experiencing strange paranormal occurrences, such as disembodied voices, cold spots, or feelings of being watched by an unseen entity. Number 9. Shia's Buffalo Theater Previously known as Shia's Performing Arts Center, Shia's Buffalo Theater in Buffalo, New York was opened in 1926. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of its original owner, Michael Shia, who passed away in 1934 and whose apparition is most often seen by guests and employees during performances. Workers performing renovations at the theater have reported being approached by a man matching Mr. Shia's description, who allegedly compliments their handiwork before vanishing into thin air. 
Guests also report experiencing a variety of paranormal phenomena, such as unexplained cold spots, disembodied voices, lights flickering, and door slamming. The theater also offers evening ghost hunting events and tours during the Halloween season. Number 10, St. Mary's School for the Deaf. Opened in 1859, St. Mary's School for the Deaf in Buffalo, New York is said to be haunted by the spirits of several former nuns who once taught there. Although many students and faculty members have reported witnessing these apparitions, the reason for their presence is unknown. Number 11. Town Ballroom The Town Ballroom in Buffalo, New York was constructed during the 1940s as the Town Casino, where guests report witnessing apparitions and shadow figures, especially in the basement area, which was allegedly used as a speakeasy during the American Alcohol Prohibition. One group of workers was allegedly working in the basement when they reported the lights repeatedly being turned off by an unseen entity, and other employees often report feeling as if being watched or followed when entering the basement. Former owners of the town ballroom also report capturing strange flashing lights on security cameras late at night, as well as motion detectors being set off without warning when the location is empty. That concludes my list of 11 notorious haunted locations in Buffalo, New York. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more creepy videos and other content. To see my full list of folklore tales and haunted locations in New York, check out the link in the description, and be sure to also follow GhostQuest.net on social media by clicking the links below. Thanks for watching.